Hi, 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 hi. How you doing? Andrew Westbrook here. I just wanted to take the time out to say that my camera quit working on my laptop. So I have to use my cell phone in order to get my presentation out. But thank you for returning. Thank you for returning to see my latest video. I know I've had several shorts out there. Thank you for liking my shorts, everybody. I appreciate it. So today we're going to talk about how we can be sentient beings. Do you know what a sentient being might be? Well, Adam and Eve were sentient beings. They were without the rigid infrastructure formulated in the modern minds of government business. They're very innocent beings. That's what a sentient being is, very pure in thought, very innocent. So there's a few scriptures I'd like to share with you, if you don't mind, as Christians or whatever relation you might be coming from. One of them is 1 Corinthians chapter 1. By the way, I'm using the 2013 revision of the New World Translation of the Holy Scripture. And I hope everything is going well for you today. Hope everything is going well for you lately. Not too many can, people cannot complain, but some people can not complain. It's the way things go these days and the last days. The first Corinthians chapter one. And we're going to read verses 19 through 21, page 1527. It says, For it is written, I will make the wisdom of the wise men perish, and the intelligence of the intellectual I will reject. Where is the wise man? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of the system of things? Has not God made the wisdom of the world foolish? For since in the wisdom of God, the world did not get to know God through its wisdom, God was pleased through the foolishness of what is preached to save those believing. All right, how about if we move over to chapter 3, and verses 19 and 20, same book of the Bible, 1 Corinthians, says, For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God, for it is written, He catches the wise in their own cunning. And again, Jehovah knows that the reasonings of the wise men are futile. Okay. So what can we gather from this? Well, some people might think we're naive or stupid because we're spiritual people or we try to be spiritual people. But don't let that get to you. You know, what's important is our approval and our standing with Jehovah, with our God, the true God Almighty. All right. So some people might call us foolish. Some people might talk down to us, which is it, right? But in other ways, if we keep doing what God wants us to do, God will talk down to those worldly people and tell them that they are foolish because they don't have the wisdom of God. And yet at the same time, the wisdom of God is foolishness with those worldly people, those people who don't have an interest in spiritual matters. Let's see here. How about this? If you've ever been placed before a human tribunal, such as a community mental health or something, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 3 and 4. Now to me, it is of very little importance to be, examined, to be examined by you or by a human tribunal. In fact, I do not even examine myself, for I am not conscious of anything against myself. But by this, I am not proved righteous. The one who examines me is Jehovah. Okay. So, 
the people who are doctors, the people who are psychiatrists, the debater of this system of things, they can't examine us spiritually. And we shouldn't be examined by those people because we are a spiritual people. We're sentient beings, okay? So while we may be off the hook with Jehovah our God, while we may be in an approved standing with our God Jehovah, that's not to say that we're in an approved state or an approved standing with the governments of the earth. You know, they're two different opposites, two different things. Okay. How about if we go over to Second Corinthians and read chapter three and verses one and two. Second Corinthians chapter three verses one and two. Never mind those legal certifications or those diplomas or degrees from different universities and colleges that you see displayed up on the wall or up on the board, professing those psychiatrists or those doctors, never mind that. It says here in Second Corinthians chapter 3, verses 1 and 2, Are we starting again to recommend ourselves again? Or are we starting to recommend ourselves again? Or do we need, like some men, letters of recommendation to you or from you? You yourselves are our letter, inscribed on our hearts and known and being read by all mankind. So the spiritual, the spiritual qualification, excuse me, comes into the heart from our God Jehovah. It's not written on any piece of paper, and not a piece of paper showing or saying how much we might know. Okay, it's not about how much we know, it's about our relationship with our God, Jehovah. It's about our mental well-being, that I'll give you is true. It's about our emotional well-being, our spiritual well-being. A lot of times what the government does incapacitates people. You know, they don't really care or recognize what our mental well-being is or what our emotional well-being is. They do things inadvertently to disrupt that. So we have to be on guard of that. Never let anyone steal your Christian identity, okay? Always cherish and keep your Christian identity right here in your heart. Watch out for the identity thieves, okay? By the way, my name is Andrew Westberg, and that's not of any importance at all. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for coming back and seeing my YouTube page at Andrew Westberg 1126. I hope you have a great day and I hope this is some food for thought, some spiritual food that you might need coming along your way. And with the approval of the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses, this YouTube page is still here for the time being. However fast Armageddon approaches, so with their approval, with Jehovah's approval, this YouTube channel will continue to be here until further notice, all right? Thank you, my friend. Thank you, whoever you are. Thank you. Take care and have a great day. Bye.